hello beautiful people thank you for clicking if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you're an og thank you for always tuning in so i have an exciting news to share with y'all but <laughs> so my uh, niece brought back this document from her school and the school is asking if she will be interested to join them on a two weeks um, educational trip to the United Kingdom because her school is affiliated with the UK you know is the, they use the British colloquium in her school I told you she's in a private school and that happened to be the only one I could find when I came here quite on the high side but what it so that is a school that um, my niece is in and they are asking if she'll be interested to join the other kids the other students that are going for two weeks trip to the United Kingdom, the only thing they require from us is her international passport and her student permit from the Nigerian Immigration Service. So I've been thinking, how do I transport her to Nigeria and transport her back? And I don't even know how long it would take for the passport to be out and stuff. So we are still contemplating if I'm going to do the passport here in Ghana for her or not, which it makes sense. Putting the transport to Lagos and putting, you know, in and out of Lagos and all the stress, putting it together, it can give you a passport here in Ghana at the Nigerian embassy. But it's going to be, you know, a bit, um, what is it called on me right now? Because right now I'm working on praises issues so if you are a big fan of antonia my niece if you want her to go to the uk reach out to us <laughs> we need passport i beg you we need international passport for antonia yes we are always needing thank you <laughs> so you guys uh, i'm happy this is kind of refreshing this clip actually should have come almost last uh, the last of the video but let's do the good news first as always so no bad news anyways but um i feel like that is quite refreshing before we go to the rest of the vlog so if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe okay normally i like to document my life with my kids because we will look back so today is the day i'm going to a school a special school in Bawe for my daughter so that she can we can see they will accept her there the school is for children with special needs precisely children with down syndrome and cerebral palsy and also autism so and uh, we got to the school the school is that's where i'm going with her right now so i was happy i was looking forward because i booked an appoint appointment with the lady the owner of the, the, the school so she was like i should come so i was all happy going on till i was told the price then i became unhappy because i started to think how will i raise this amount of money and still be able to keep other kids in school antonia and wendy in school by the way, Antonia have been living with me for like quite a while. I have been responsible for her education. So let's continue this you conversation. Guys, the so Uber guys. guy that carried me, that is carrying me today, I've told him this December, he should be the one at the airport. You, if you know other guys like you, do you know other, other Uber guys like you? Is do you know other? I'm going to put it in my video. Do you know? <laughs> okay, do you know okay. other Uber guys like you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see like ten of you. Uh, I mean twenty of you at the airport. I bet. Yeah, airport, okay. uh, so you represent Ghana very well for me. Eh? <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, like I've not entered this type of ride in a long while. This guy is very cool. Mm -hmm. Has air conditioner. Like he's so nice. Uh -uh. Don't get me wrong, all the Uber guys you may meet, I mean, all the taxi app, the, yeah, the internet taxi app rides you may come across in Ghana, to okay, they are well mannered. But this air conditioner something, hmm, it's not usually common. So this guy just impressed me. I'm really impressed with Uber. What is the highest rate I can give you? Like, to rate you? What is it? <laughs> Uh, you can check your phone. Uh, so don't, if I see like 100%, you'll yeah. get it all. Okay, thank you. Seriously, yeah. I've not enjoyed this ride in a long... I'm not even thinking of the money I'm going to pay because from where I'm coming from, 
it's quite high but I've taken my mind out of that mm -hmm. this is nice when you come to you to Ghana make sure if you see this guy anywhere you see him please what's your name Ivy uh, yeah, anywhere you uh, anywhere you see Ivy contact him I mean like use him book him <laughs> the good thing is I have your number Yes. Uh, when I come into that part of where you live, yeah. okay, you are inside town. Uh -huh. If you are around Achimota, uh -uh. in fact, he will be picking us. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So we are close to, I don't know, how close are we? How many minutes? Uh, five minutes away. Oh, we are five minutes away. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm back from the special school and it has been a very difficult week because I'm thinking the price is high for me as a single parent with other children. You know, I have been contemplating so many things, sending Antonia back to her parents in the village. But what is she going to do? Because I have been the one responsible for her education right from when she was in primary six. I have been financially responsible and otherwise. So sending her back to the village, what is she going to become? It means she dropping out of school. So it, it was a very big, you know, <laughs> I've been struggling to make that decision, which now she got picked to go to the UK. If I can get her passport and her um, permit from the immigration service of Nigeria she gets to go to the UK. I'll be so happy. So as for praise, um, after I got so exhausted and I was contemplating a lot of things I can't say here, a good Samaritan from the UK came up and set up a GoFundMe account. And she's a very reliable person. Okay, for those who are skeptical about donating to that GoFundMe for praise to get into school, please she's not a bad person okay it it will get to me she's going to deliver all the monies to me she's not that type of person okay so right now there's hope for school for priests to get back to school but we still need your donations if you can donate to the gofundme link in bio and also in the description i mean in the description of this video and also at the comment section so while we wait for that, my side hustle pay, payment came. Yeah, I got paid for a job I've been doing. So I'm going to get materials for priests to start homeschooling and successfully got the material like the writing board, other things that I was told to buy that I didn't film here. So I bought all of those and I already got a teacher. So she'll be starting school in... Um, a matter of time by the time you see this video she may already have started homeschooling for now because i don't want her to forget everything pending when we can get her to go to the special school the benefit of her going to the special school is not just to acquire education i showed you guys in one of the videos how my daughter works they are going to help her um, make sure she matches her leg very well and be able to be independent on her, of, her, of her, you know, how she walk and all that, be able to walk, move herself properly around and even go out of, you know, the house and mix with the society. So that is why I'm looking at it. Okay. So because my side hustle payment came, I have bought things for the kids, do different things for them. So I decided to also buy something for myself. Not even for myself because I have been booked for a makeup, um, for a brother makeup job coming up soon. So some of the things I do not already have, I decided to take advantage of the Black Friday sales that is happening in Ghana. Almost every vendor is doing Black Friday. So I decided to get some really nice products for very affordable price. So I can use it for the makeup, um, makeup job that I have been booked for. So, yeah, uh, I have a couple of side hustles, but um, doing YouTube and doing other side hustles is not that simple. Though something like makeup is not bad at all because you just get to go 
maybe one or two days and you are back mm, but giving other side hustles a try is not that simple it's affecting my channel because i realized that the amount of money i usually make at least maybe for instance if i used to make like 50 dollar because i have another job that i'm doing i now end up at maybe 20 dollar or 30 dollars per month this is instance okay and then the the site also let's say the site also will pay me like 20 dollar and then putting it together it does not make any sense to me so the best thing is to focus on my own channel and just grow it and end something little little until they picked up and give me a with the Maya vibes <laughs> you get it so guys I'm preparing beans and planting these beans I washed the skin out and I decided because there's no crayfish in the house I decided to add one fish in it just to supplement the beans I mean the the plantain that we do not have just to make up for the uh, crayfish that we do not have so yeah come with me to breakfast this is my breakfast day today i've got so much on grand to do so first i have to eat and after that i want to get my hair done i'm eating and walking at the same time you see this social media thing it's not it's not easy it's not for everybody it's a lot of work but you just have to find a way to make to keep doing it Right now, I'm doing Facebook as well, and I'm, I'm doing YouTube. I love it. So bringing another um, hustle to the site, apart from a site hustle that would just take me a day, is hard. All right, so this is the following morning, and Wendy is sick. <laughs> Do you still want to be a mother after watching this video? Wendy is sick for no just reason. All through the night, she vomited, stooling, and became weak. So, but we go. This is another day in our life. The same day, yeah, the Sunday, a weekend in my life. So, we have cooked our Nigerian jello fries because that is what my children enjoy, you know. And then fried plantain and fried beef. And this is what we are having. It's been a while we sit down and eat together as a family because I am always in my room eating and working eating and pressing my phone eating and doing one thing so today um because i was supposed to go out for the side hustle but because when this health is not looking great i decided to stay home and monitor her so we use the opportunity to eat together as a family and i'm so excited so you guys if you have watched this video to this point i want to say a very big thank you and please don't forget to Check the GoFundMe link in my description of this video and also at the comment section. I make a donation for my daughter so she can get into school. Okay? I'll be very happy if she get into that school. It's going to be of help to her in future. Not just acquiring education to be um, for the sake of being educated, but it's going to help her with her mobility. She's going to be able to walk. Um, almost normal so that even when I'm not there she's going to be fit thank you all for always coming through and for those of you that have been donating to the course God bless you I appreciate you okay all right guys so this is where we draw the cutting for today's vlog and I hope that you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in another video this is a girl that was very sick this morning you see children I fear who no fear children. So we are giving her ORS water to drink because she needs to regain her all the fluid she have lost over the night. All right, guys, love you. She said she sit down. She's so kind. So thank you. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Love you.